Well, when I was young, um, I think probably influenced by my older sister, we spent a lot of time on the old family Singer sewing machine. In fact, that's where I first swore when I was sitting at the sewing machine, when I couldn't thread the needle. I think I said the word <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I remember the, the sewing machine, yeah, we, we um, often, we, yeah, we made lots of ridiculous clothes um, on the sewing machine when we were young. So I don't know, maybe I've kind of always, you know, maybe this is inspired by that, <laughs> the sounds that I remember hearing back then <laughs> on that old singer. So my name is Rose Turtle Ertler and um, I, I grew up in Tassie. I, I fled when I was 18, like I think lots of people do. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Um, and then I came back a couple of years ago, so I was away for about 30 years, kind of gallivanting on the mainland. My art practice is quite varied. I mean, I'm a musician, so I, and I play quite a few instruments, um, but I also do kind of community arts projects. For this free-for-all concert that I'm doing, I, wanted, I invited two friends who sew with sewing machines. I didn't really want to play with another musician. I just thought, I guess, I guess I'm always thinking about the definition of music and how broad that is, and always kind of challenging myself to broaden the definition of what music is and sound. And um, so, so I was just kind of thinking of all my friends and thinking of trying to think of someone who's not necessarily in the music world, who might, who might through their work or a hobby, sort of do something that has an interesting sound. So then I thought of my two friends who sew and um, thought of the sounds that the sewing machine make. You know, if you put that in a kind of performance context, then it is a musical instrument just as much as an organ is or a keyboard. Ah, oh, you can get all sorts of sounds out of a sewing machine. Yeah, I mean, even just like the little tiny sounds of, um, I don't know what the things are called, flipping that little thing up where the needle goes up and changing the bobbin. Even those little clink, clinky, clunky sounds, as well as the actual sewing and the reversing and the speed and the, I think, you know, there's a whole kind of um, library, I guess, of different textures and sounds to play with. I think putting a sewing machine in a musical concert, and even when I explained it to my friends, you know, do you want to do this? The first reaction was to laugh. So I think it's a bit joyful and playful, I think. I like that. You know, I think it's just, I mean, it's something, you know, a sewing machine is a very, you know, it's not a strange thing, to, a sewing machine, but then it's just about putting it in a different context that makes it interesting. <laughs> So yeah, when you come to when you all come to free for all, it's um it's really fun. In the first half, we'll, we'll be doing our performance with the sewing machines and the organ, and then the second half, it's a really um, great kind of inclusive and comfortable kind of thing that happens where people are encouraged to get up and do an improvised little bit of music with someone they've never played with before. But it's not just for musicians; it's for anyone. Um, and it's not kind of like a scary thing where you have to perform in front of people. It's a really kind of casual, comfortable thing where you get up. And it's, it's just really about playing. And I think it's really important for adults to keep playing. And often that gets lost when you grow up. 